guys so i just got my custom kit in the mail from tarte and i'm gonna be reviewing it today so it comes in the box like this you open it it's purple cute inside um so for my custom kit i chose the face tape foundation and I have never tried any of Tarte's foundations. Like, I chose this because I just uh, I just consulted w with customer service. I basically just you know told them my skin type and the kind of coverage I want. So they came up with this. They recommended me this. Um, so yeah, that's how it looks. I am in the shade uh, 47S Tan Sand Deep. Well, that's the shade I got. I have to see. Um, I was actually really nervous because they told me, oh, if you got the wrong shade, like, you can't exchange it. I was like, what? You can't even at least exchange the shades, but whatever. So I was, like, really, really nervous, and I was, like, sitting there for hours trying to, like, see, like, oh, which one's closest to me. I try to look for reviews, and there's not many reviews on this custom kit, so I just decided to do one. Okay. So yeah, I got the face tape foundation. Um, I got the Big Ego Sketch and Set Brow Pencil. And I got the um, Foundsealer Foundation Brush, which I'm excited. Oh, it's so cute. All the packaging is just so cute. And I got the Maracuja Juicy Lip in the shade Buttered Rum. Creaseless concealer. I've never used the Shape Tape concealer, but I hear so much about it. So I'm excited. I heard this is still similar to Shape Tape. I'm in the shade 40S Tan Sand. That's what I got for the concealer. And I got the Man Eater Mascara. These packages are so cute. And for my bag, I got the, um, I forgot what it was called, but I got this one, the snake print. I love reptiles, so I thought this was super, it's super cute. Um, it's super spacious. I'm actually really excited. And I just got a little sample of the maracuja oil. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and try on all these products for you guys and tell you my thoughts on them so i'm gonna start with the foundation i don't have any primer on but um i just washed my face and moisturized look how cute the brush is oh my gosh it's really soft and really dense so that's perfect so i'm gonna put a few pumps back of my hand <sighs> this is this is seriously nerve-wracking for me because i'm really hoping that this is my shade like really really hoping oh it looks like the color is okay Ooh, it's really thick okay you guys so a little goes a long way seriously yeah this is this is full coverage <laughs> but a little goes a long way i put way too much on the back of my hand um wow all right so um so far i like how the foundation it's it's really thick but it's not um uncomfortable like it's it feels comfortable so far let me just finish this oh so next thing i'm gonna use is the creaseless concealer i'm really excited it's a f i heard this was like really similar to the shape tape concealer this was like i think the first one for shape tape so i just got this like a shade lighter which this is already a bit light so but i always like my concealer to be like at least a shade lighter nothing crazy oh my gosh this is they said you don't need much and I see why yeah it's really it's really creamy and really nice Take the beauty blender just to blend it out 
Ooh, yeah, that covers really well. So it claims, well, the name of it is creaseless, so we'll see. I, I naturally have, like, a lot of fine lines underneath my eyes. Like, I've always had that since I was a kid, so I really have... Um, a big problem with concealers creasing so um, I'm not gonna set it I'm just gonna you know see how this does without setting it I wouldn't be surprised though like a lot of things really sink into my fine lines but there are some products I found that um, have worked and they because I I don't often use powder I find that I don't really need to use powder but if i do i don't have it but it's the elf hd setting powder that one is really good and um obviously a good price elf products are always very affordable and that's why everyone loves them so this concealer is amazing i'm actually really loving the products and i heard um Tarte's products are actually really good for your skin. And I love makeup like that. And I think um, they're really big on just natural, simple makeup. And that's how I am too. That's why I don't really make videos because <laughs> I see like all these girls on here like doing like some crazy eye looks. And I'm like, just with my one or two eyeshadows, I'm just like, I feel like I'm too boring for YouTube. I'm just gonna put on a little bit of bronzer. And I use the Morphe bronzer. This is in the shade Trailblazer. But this Morphe one, it's like, what, 19 bucks? And you get this size. It works so good. I love the color. So I'm just going to put some bronzer on. Just to kind of add more dimension and color back to my face. For me, um, a lot of people said that they'd rather get a foundation that's um, that's a little bit darker than lighter. For me, it's I'd rather a tad bit light because I can always balance it out with bronzer. So it it just you know it just really depends on you your preference. That's my preference. So if you get too much blush or bronzer, just blend it out. With your beauty blender to kind of tone it down but yeah this blush for me is like the nars orgasm for um brown skin people yeah it's pretty it has very light shimmer and it's just a really pretty um peachy pink okay guys so anyways on to the next i'm gonna use the big ego sketch big ego sketch and set brow pencil i got this in the shade dark brown i prefer dark brown over black i just feel like black looks like too intense when you take out this um tinted brow gel the spoolie has like so much product on it so just be very um careful when applying this because you can like put too much and it can look crazy okay so i'm gonna um clean up my brows a little bit i'm gonna use the same concealer the creaseless concealer but my eyebrows are looking good to my liking so i'm happy okay it's finally like pretty much all blended out these are my brows i'm actually really happy with how they turned out Okay, so next um, is their mascara. I got the Man Eater. I love cheetah print. Cheetah print is so cute. And I also heard good reviews about this. So I'm not gonna curl my lashes because I think this claimed um, to curl, lengthen volume, and it's waterproof. Um, I'm just gonna put a little bit of eyeshadow on. I think I'm just gonna swipe like one pretty color on me. I have the Bare Minerals eyeshadow palette, and this is in Latte, and I'm just gonna use the color Eels. Such a pretty color. So let's go in Man Eater Mascara. How 
so it does really lift and curl and lengthen like it says this is only one coat and you can see how like short my lashes already are so yeah this mascara is amazing and i really like the brush so the last product i have is the maracuja juicy lip and i got this in the shade butter rum they said if you just click it like once or twice it can be used as a chapstick and any more than that you can really build up the color which i like because i i like lipstick but i mean i'm in a relationship so <laughs> always gets rubbed off anyways so I just really like a tinted lip color and something that's moisturizing for my lips because I also have like a lot of fine lines on my lips. So I like something that's more moisturizing with a hint of color rather than a full on matte lip because I really struggle with that. Like it really sinks into my fine lines and it looks like ugh, like all crusty. So you just click it right here, which is really cool up the product this color is like a nice pinky brown color pinky brown mauve okay so these are this is how my lips look right now oh, oh my gosh it feels like you're just it feels so good it feels so good it feels so moisturizing it feels like you just put a cloud on your lip or something or you just like put jello i don't know i don't know but it feels amazing so i was afraid i was like oh you know what if like this color won't really look too great on me or it'll look like way too pink or it'll be too light but it's actually perfect it's like a it's like a perfect just everyday pinky brown lipstick. It feels like, it doesn't feel glossy. It feels like more, I don't know how to explain it. More like a chapstick, but I don't know, but better. And you can definitely build on the color, which is amazing. Like this is gorgeous. Wow. And that is it. That's all the products I have today, you guys. And so far, I've seriously loved everything. I put everything in my cute little sneak print bag. I love this bag, like, so much. There's so much room in here. Everything fits in there perfectly, and I can actually fit a lot more. This bag is so cute and amazing. It feels really good. I really love everything I used. Seriously, I, I really, really like it. Um... So the foundation feels really comfortable. It doesn't feel like your cake of, I was gonna say it doesn't feel like your cake is face. <laughs> it doesn't feel like your face is cakey at all. It is definitely full coverage. The only, only thing that I can say about this foundation is that it looks a tad bit ashy. But I think that's because, um, I think that's because it's, a little bit too light but I feel like if I went any darker than this it would definitely be too dark for me so that's the only thing I can say about the foundation um, they do have 50 shades but I feel like when it comes to um, the undertones and the shades they can do a little bit more work but other than that I really really like it um, it's it's just really on there um i have dry skin my skin is very very dry and it doesn't feel like it's drying it out at all it feels extremely comfortable so um yeah that's just it it's just the shade is just a tad bit too light and a little bit ashy but the bronzer kind of all brought it a little bit more together um the eyebrow pencil i really love the eyebrow pencil and i love the fact that it comes with an eyebrow gel because not all the time that I like to fill in my eyebrows I just like to get um, just put on some tinted brow gel and just go um, the concealer is amazing it's really really creamy the concealer is really creamy and um, full coverage it feels really good underneath my eyes
um, it did crease a little bit which it, it's not bothering me too much because um, I have really deep fine lines in my eyes anyways but it didn't crease like crazy like you can still see it's holding up there but you know obviously there it's creasing a little bit but it's holding up so I would probably have to set it with some powder the mascara I love the mascara my eyelashes look like little doll lashes I love the mascara it really did lengthen it really did give some volume and some curl and it really did a great job with separating it didn't clump my lashes so I really really I love the mascara like that's two coats right there and I have really short lashes and the maracuja juicy love is just amazing for every day like it, it's super amazing it gives your it makes your lips look so healthy and I feel like guys so everything in my custom kit I only it was like about a 200 something dollar value I only got it for like 60 something dollars and my bag I absolutely love the bag it feels great and it has a lot of room in there and yeah I actually so thumbs up it was definitely worth it all these products are worth it they don't have um, well obviously they're done with this um, special so um, but the products are definitely worth um, looking into investing in thank you guys for watching my review I hope you guys enjoyed it I know there wasn't a lot of reviews on the custom kits so um, whoever needed this out there I hope it helped you and yeah thanks guys bye